All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna finish installing a couple fittings and bleeding the quick jacks. And then hopefully uh, today or tomorrow, we are going to lift my six inch lifted F-150. And we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned. We'll uh, get right into this. Guys, before we get started, I decided to use the thread sealer that comes with it instead of using the uh, Teflon tape. So what I did was I put a little bit right there just to see if it'll harden up. Well, what happens to it if it sits out? This has been uh, about three days now. And check it out. It looks just like it did when it came out of the bottle. So why do we let it cure for 24 hours? I have no idea. So like I said, this is three days ago. So, oh, I guess we're gonna find out if we got any leaks. I put uh, plenty on the threads, which would be the two long hoses and the two short hoses. So anyway, we'll see if it leaks. All right, so let's get these on. They go right there. All right. Now, I'm gonna put this fitting, the O-ring, and the hydraulic jack. This is a six millimeters. There's a little washer there. Make sure you get that. Sounds like there's a lot of fluid. I have a little ATF here. I'm gonna lube the O-ring. Okay, so we got just a dab of transmission fluid. Looks like there's plenty of fluid inside there too. Some other videos you see they have to lift this up to get access to be able to turn that but it looks like it's doing fine on its own so we don't need to do that all right again like every other video about 10 o'clock so you got about nine there right around there let me grab the hose so we can reference that okay so there's the hose Routed how they suggest. Okay, I'm just trying to get a good angle here so we can tighten it down. about right all right so this is 11 sixteenths tilt that up just a little bit so we need both hands so you got to hold it up a little bit and tighten her up all right it's about 10 o'clock Do the other one real quick. 
All right, now we'll put these in to the pump here. Instructions say, and everybody else on YouTube says, put the bottom one first. Otherwise, it'll be no more difficult. TF on the thread there, just a little. All right, you feel that O-ring, make contact there. And like the other big, uh, bigger fittings, that's gonna be seven eighths. All right, let's get the other one in. Connect the small hoses. Two quarts in there. See how, how full it is there. Mm. About an inch. About an inch or so low. So we'll put a little more. You want to put that about, manual says half inch from the top. ready to bleed the lines but I wanted to show you something first in case anybody's wondering this is the race deck flooring I can't remember which one exactly it's the shiny one it's uh, uh it's about 16 years old and I beat it pretty good you can see it's in great shape but this is what I wanted to show you check this out how easy these things slide. I mean, this is a game changer here, especially when you get old like me. Look at that. So this will be nothing to push under a car. I mean, two fingers, amazing. And I also got thanks to another YouTuber, these one inch wheels for rolling it around. I don't need them in here. However, in my other garage, where my F-150 is, it is concrete. So we'll see what happens over there. So I may not even put them on. But anyway, let me hook the hoses up. You all need to see that. And I'll uh, get this thing bled. All right, let's bleed the lines. Just go up and down three times. Let's do it. Sorry, the uh, stopped recording. I want to do this three times. That would be one. Everybody's keeping track. <clears throat>
about uh, 45, 46 pounds in the air uh, cylinders. I'm not going really much more than that because of uh, when it gets hot, the PSI goes up. And being in South Florida, it's only going to get hotter. So we'll keep them around 45, 46. It's about as long as it takes. There we go. All right, number three. You don't need to wait for them to go down, so be right back to bleed them. A little bit of air, not much. I heard some air there. All right, let's bore you with the rest. Let me get these bled and uh, we'll be right back. All right, I think we're done bleeding them. A few extra times here was pretty uh, slow going, but I think we got it. In case anybody's wondering about the leaks. see any other leaks. I don't see any any wetness anywhere. Besides maybe the thread sealant. So so far so good. That looks like thread sealant. So we'll see. I'll keep an eye. Over here we got nothing. So dry as a bone. We'll keep an eye on it. Alright. Alright, just a real quick note. This air cylinder had lost about 37 PSI. It was down to about eight. That one was fine. So I tightened up the Schrader out a little bit, even though I tightened them yesterday, or sorry, a few days ago. Um, it did turn a little, so hopefully that'll do it. If yeah, there's got a bad valve, then I'll have to switch it out. But I can confirm there is no leaks. Anywhere. That little bit on the napkin was it. Must have been a little bit of the thread sealer. I did have to put another uh, couple ounces in there after I bled the brake. Uh, the brakes, yeah. The stands, the jacks. So, that's about a half inch from the top. And yeah, let's take one more look. properly so the next test will be 
jacking up probably the F-150. So stay tuned for that. Okay. There are the SUV adapters. They're gonna be useful for the F-150 and probably the Jeep. All right, so a little strap here. It's just Velcro to hold the hose. Because every time you go to move it around, the hose will go getting caught up underneath here. So let's put a little Velcro strap to hold them where they're in storage. The F-150 here. Get ready to jack it up. Six inch lift on the quick jack 7000 TL. Go around check everything one more time and, uh, and we'll see what happens. All right, here goes nothing. Here we go. Hey guys, we are up off the ground. Locked. Look at that. All right.
We are off the ground. We are on the second lock. Everything looks good. Oh yeah, 2021 F-150 with a six inch lift. Obviously I don't need this to change the oil. It's only for tire rotation. Which would only be <laughs> probably once every five years. Look at that. Everything is straight. Everything is right on the money. Locked up. Picked it up like it wasn't even there. Beautiful. As far as I know, this hasn't been done on video until just now, because I can't find one. So quick, Jack, if you're watching, reach out. All right, we're gonna drop this bad boy now. Slowly, hopefully. Okay, in case I didn't mention, this vehicle is approximately curb weight, the way it sits, 52 to 5,300 pounds. All right, let's drop it down. adapters go if they fall or not because another video showed them falling over well, they just stick a little but, uh, we have a winner released and we're on the ground look at that let's see how much it shifted okay i was about one inch from that metal beam there now i'm about five inches so it shifted forward about four inches after i dropped it down But that's uh, not an issue. All right, success. This is one of the main reasons I bought it. So I can rotate my tires on this thing. Everything else will be easy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. As far as I know, this is the only F-150 with a six inch lift. Besides the uh, Raptor I saw on YouTube um that's been up in the air at least on video so hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe if you can i appreciate it thanks